Welcome to St Mungo's Teachers Got Talent. This year, what we're going to be doing is a teacher's act for you all because we wanted this year to be a special year for you because the teachers really wanted to entertain you given the fact that you've entertained us for so many years over the years. Um, so without further ado, what we're going to do is introduce our first act and Mr Pennon, my assistant here, is going to talk you through the whole process. Okay, so we hope this goes really well. Um, we'll talk you through the process later with how you're going to do your voting, but we're going to get started right away. We've got Mr. Johnston, Mr. Poe up to start it off with a bang. They are promising laugh a minute behaviour here. I'll let you be the judge of that. Every time you come around, you know I can't say. Every time the sun goes down, I let you take control. I can feel the paradise before my world implodes. And tonight had something wonderful. My bad habits lead to late. Johnson and Povey's jokes there, but just to let you know, things can only get better from here. We've got a lot more acts to come for you to get looking forward to. Mr Young, who's up next? Well, up next we've got something that's been long in the making. We've had to fill in various forms and paperwork, put in a request about three years ago for it to be approved, and we went through all the bureaucratic avenues, and finally we managed to get the school janitors to participate in the talent show. So, without further ado, take it away!
Thank you so much for that, St. Mungo's Janners. That was amazing. And um, now we are ready to introduce our next act. And to do so, Mr. Penman. Thank you. Next up, we've got Mr. Smith, a man who is not shy in telling everyone about his general knowledge or love of quizzes. We'll find out just how good he is with this next act. Take it away. As you can see, I've got my America top on. Uh, so I'm going to be singing, I want to be in America. I want to be in it. Actually, I feel a bit of a sore throat. So instead, what I'll do is try and name all 50 states of America in under 50 seconds. Three, two, one. Massachusetts, Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, um, Tennessee, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania, Indiana, Ohio, Illinois, Wisconsin, Michigan, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Vermont, Maine, New Hampshire, Louisiana, Kentucky, Iowa, Nebraska, Wyoming, Kansas, Minnesota, Missouri, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Alaska, Hawaii. I'm going to go for a second challenge now, and this time I'm going to try and name the 42 teams in the Scottish Professional Football League in as quick a time as possible whilst doing keepy office. So let's see how this goes. Ross County, Inverness, Elgin City, Peterhead, Aberdeen, Cope Rangers, Arbroath, Montrose, Forfair Athletic, Dundee, Dundee United, St Johnston, East Fife, County Hutch, Hounded Beef, Dunfermline, Rafe Rovers, Stalin Albion, Falkirk, Alloa, Stenisphere. What's oh, still here? Uh, <laughs> uh, Edinburgh City, Hearts, Hibs, Livingston, Clyde, Airdrie, Albion Rovers, uh, Morton, St Mirren, Dumbarton, Rangers, Celtic, Queen's Park, Air, Kilmarnock, Anna Athletic, Stranraer, Queen of the South, and Partick Bazaar! <laughs> Thanks for that, Mr. Smith. A man who's proved that he has the knowledge to name 50 states in less than a minute, but once tried to microwave a pot noodle. Proving yet again that there is a thin line between genius and insanity. Mr. Young, who's up next? Delicate balance to strike, isn't it? So, up next we have Mrs. Brophy, who is getting crafty, as usual, and she's going to be displaying an absolutely unique skill uh, she has a very particular set of skills that may not be to the benefit of some metal work. In any case, take it away. Right, so for Mrs. Brophy's talent, um, I'm going to show you how we can turn this spoon into something like this. A nice spoon ring. And you can see they are, you can have ones with initials on it, or just nice patterns. So the first thing to do is to heat up the spoon. And you have to do it until it's a bright red colour. So you can see it's starting to change colour. But it's still not hot enough. It's starting to change. Okay, now it's hot enough. We have to cool it down. And then I have to make the bowl flat. Okay, so you get it really flat, like that, 
and then you've got to heat it up again. Now what you have to do is to start bending it and you have to decide which way is going to be the inside and the outside. Oh, light went out. To bash it around and heat it quite a few times before it's ready, but you can see it's starting to look a bit like a ring. So that's the red colour it needs to go for it to be ready. So we'll come back once that's been done. Right, so this is what it looks like after it's been soaking. So now I'm going to have to polish it up. then finally I've got to use this paste that should shine it up and so you're left with a silver ring One spoon to rule them all. Welcome back. Thanks, Mrs. Brophy, for that amazing skill. Very unexpected. Skills that are envied all over Middle Earth and the Shire. Next up, Mr. Young, we have... Well, we have a surprise act for you here. We have someone who's going to be dancing our way to success, hopefully, this year in the talent contest. It's Mrs. Meekin. Take, Take it away. away. Thanks for that, Mrs. Beacon. That was truly inspiring. I'm sure you'll all agree. And uh, now we move on for a little bit of explanation at this point of the show over to our trusted colleague here, Mr. Kremen. So, um, you've had a range of talents so far. We hope you've enjoyed what you've seen, but you're only halfway there. Bon Jovi. Okay? We have many more acts coming up, and you're going to have to wait. Welcome back to the second half of the St. Mungo's Teachers Got Talent. Next up, we have a person who you wouldn't think has this talent necessarily, so hopefully it's going to be a little bit of a surprise for you, but we have Mr. Carmichael up next. Mr. Pemmon? He is walking two flights of stairs down to music with this talent. Mr. Povey, watch out. He claims to be a killer on the guitar. We'll find out. If he gets it wrong, one thing's for sure, he'll be history. Let's see. Take it away.
we are just kidding. We know that Mr. Carmichael is extremely talented, as he's just demonstrated. And we have to say that he's done a great job. I'm sure some of you will vote for them. But our next act, my, 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 am I looking forward to this. I just think it's a beautiful day, the fact that we have managed to get this act together. Next up, we have pupil support. I'll just uh, stand here then, shall I? Take it away. Sunday morning, up with the lock. I think I'll take a walk in the park. Hey, 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 it's a beautiful day. I've got someone. Thank you for that beautiful rendition. Next up, Mr. Young. Next up, we have got Murphy versus King. That's Miss Murphy versus Miss King. And an amazing head-to-head -head challenge where they are going to show us some really fantastic challenges and talents that you're not going to believe your eyes, actually. In fact, it would be like saying... Mr. Young, Mr. Young. That's a bit of a mouthful. First up is Chubby Bunnies. Enjoy! On the whistle. Three, two. the whistle. Three, two. Right now. See Lord have mercy.
thank you so much for that fantastic head-to-head -head challenge there, Miss King and Miss Murphy. I'm sure everyone will agree that that was fantastic. So, to introduce our next act, we have Mr Penman. Our next act have a reputation that precedes them. They have a long, 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 long history of performance under their belt. They are seasoned veterans who have toured Falkirk many a time. These two gold oldies, more grey nowadays, our next act, the Pickled Eggs, you might know as Mr Sterling and Mr Harrison. Enjoy. Take it away. Stay or should I go? If you say that you are mine, I'll be here till the end of time. Oh, you gotta let me know. Should I stay or should I go? It's always tease, tease, tease. I like it when I'm on my knees. One day it's fine and then it's black. Want me off your back Then you gotta let me know Should I stay or should I go Should I stay or should I go when adults try to copy online trends. I do. I do. Anyway, let's see what our next act is. Oh, it's um, the senior leadership team with a TikTok. Take, Take it away! away. <laughs> First off, are you asking me to step in? What? Are you asking me to step into Christmas? I'd like to apologise once again for this interruption to learning and the teaching that the SLT caused. However, it's been for a good cause this year. Now, that's us really. And Mr Penman, what do you think about the acts that we've seen so far? I think we have had a range of acts. I have been thoroughly impressed in many different ways actually. Um, some were indescribable. That's a good word for it. <laughs> but I loved it. I'm sure you'll appreciate the effort that all the teachers have put into this and the fact that it's nerve wracking to get up and do this. And we hope that your voting reflects this and we hope that you have a favourite. So, Mr. Pemmon, what do you think of the show so far? I think it's been great, aye. I think I'll be really impressed. It was, it was a bit ropey for a while, I was worried, but I think it's went really well in the end. 
Ah, yeah, there's been, you know, entertainment, there's been tears, there's been laughter, there's been joy. I also, it's I'm feeling really Christmassy in here. I like what you've done with it. You're loving it. You're loving mm. the festivities. Yeah, I like that wee penguin with the key sat in a hat. It's really lovely. What did you think about the hood of the Santa? Do you know? Yeah, that's one of my hires. Oh. Shawnee Lee. Really? That one. Smart. Mm. This wee Christmas tree. Lovely. Like mm -hmm. it. Christmas vibes. I've got quite Christmas a lot. Yes, that's quite a lot. Yeah. And what about, uh, who did this? Well, this one's actually just arrived today. This is a, a pupil you might recognise mm -hmm. from St Mungo's. And that's hat. Oh! So I'm going to say a map of phone calls. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Oh, really? What the hell is it? And what, what's your... Okay, right, I'll let them know. Okay. Mr. Young, we have... Everyone, we have another act for you. He's just come in. I don't even know what this is going to be. It's Mr. Mackay. Brace yourselves. <laughs> QR code. So if you take out your iPads and scan that, we can let the voting commence. When you get onto the form, there'll be a range of options for you for each of the acts. You pick your favourite, then that will finalise. Who wins this prestigious event? So just to reiterate guys, the teachers have done their bit, now it's all over to you guys to do your bit and to pick a winner. The winner will be announced via Tanoi at the end of the school day. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. The second challenge now, and I'm going to try and name all 42. <laughs> oh, wait, sorry, that's one I should try to name. Oh, On the whistle, three, two. Ball start. I hope you enjoyed the talent show and I hope you have a great Christmas and I'll see you next week. Thank you and goodbye. Thanks very much for that awesome message, Miss Jess, but you're not getting the final word. We are.
I cannot believe you just said that. Well, she will be fuming. I did, I did. I'm in trouble. Um, but just one more thing, we need to thank Miss King and Mrs Meekin for all their fantastic efforts in putting together this talent show because, you know, it takes a lot of work. And thank you so much for that. They were the one who did it. We appreciate it. Thank you.